How dangerous is this moment for the country? Uh, thank you, Christopher, for having you. It is extremely dangerous. I think Iraq has not had uh, this kind of uh, uh, level of violence or the threat of violence uh, that is related to the government formation process. Yes, Iraq has always taken its time uh, to form a government after an election uh, due mm -hmm. to the uh, demographic distribution of, the, of power and also uh, the law itself and, and the regulations for uh, forming a government. It always has been uh, peaceful and uh, it was uh, done through negotiation. Uh, this is the first time we are seeing complete uh, uh, deadlock and also uh, the uh, uh, demonstrations, counter demonstrations, and also, uh, unfortunately, in the last uh, few hours, uh, the use of our, uh, weapons and uh, that led, led to uh, casualties, unfortunately. As you point out, even before these deadly protests, Iraq has been in this political deadlock, you know, since Sadr's party won the most seats last year, but not enough to govern with the majority. So what's the political outlook for Iraq going forward? Uh, this is, again, uh, we are 11 months uh, almost into the post-election uh, uh, government uh, formation process. And uh, uh, as time proceeds, uh, basically, it gets even harder and harder. The, the problem with it, even though Sadr won, but his win is really a small margin, about 22 percent of the total uh, number of parliamentary seats. It is nowhere near uh, a majority uh, to form a government, much less the needed two-thirds to elect a president and uh, proceed uh, with his own vision of, of a government. So uh, it, I, I don't see any way uh, that uh, the, uh, the, the vision that he is trying to impose and he is not uh, uh, relenting on, which is forming a national a majority government, as he calls it, uh, not a, a sectarian, but cross uh, ethno sectarian lines. Um, there is no way uh, it can be uh, accommodated. And therefore, uh, the outlook uh, of this and, and the only possible scenario is that for mm -hmm. all parties to be convinced that uh, reality on the ground will prevent uh, the uh, anyone to impose their own vision of government formation and they will have to go back to a consociation and negotiations uh, and mm. finally an agreement. The sad part is that the longer this drags on, the longer it takes for these people to realize this simple fact, uh, the more, uh, unfortunately, lives we are going to lose and the more uh, time that Iraqis will live in these um, uh, hard conditions where their, their needs are not met by, by the government.